Okay, so the little autonomous zones in uh, Minneapolis where George Floyd died, uh, where George Floyd was killed by the cops. Uh, today is Monday. I believe it's August, uh, August the 3rd or the 2nd, I'm not even sure. But anyway, there's uh, people here. Having some sort of a party. The whole block, this whole block has been uh, closed off since uh, a few months ago after the incident. Uh, you can see all the way down there. And every direction you look uh, is people coming in and uh, Paying respect to the to the spot where the guy was killed. This is like the bus stop it used to be. This is where it used to be a gas station here. And uh, the store, the store that where the guy was killed actually opened. A little memorial spot where uh, where the guy was killed, and the store is actually open, which is amazing as you can see. It's still open. And the store is open. It's amazing. They have been burned down this one. And the environment looks. If you can look down down there, the, the road is closed. And everything around here All the businesses uh, surrounding this location is closed Because they could, of course they can't uh, Operate without having to fight off Robberies and people breaking in and whatnot So if you, you're interested to find out if this location is still uh, operating close, and it is close right now. It's been closed for the last couple of months, uh, and the businesses they moved out in the intersection of 38th and Chicago becomes. Uh, Memorial. That's it.